Senior activity centers will resume some of their programs tomorrow, mainly individual activities like arts and crafts and exercise. Some centers will prioritize at-risk seniors who are feeling the serious effects of social isolation because of the circuit breaker. Melissa Go with this report. Lions Befrienders is preparing to welcome seniors back at all nine activity centres on Tuesday after a near four-month hiatus. Individual activities like arts and crafts and exercise will resume, along with assistance for seniors like letter reading or referral services. The organisation serves about 6,000 seniors, most of whom live alone in rental flats. It says the resumption of programmes at Senior Activity Centres, or SACs, will allow them to better assess seniors' psychological and physical health. So, SAC has been a lifeline for them, whereby they come down regularly, get to meet people uh, in this period of circuit breaker. What happened is we have seen three reported cases of attempted suicide. Although the numbers are small, I mean three out of 6,000 is a very small numbers, it points towards a declining state of mental health as well as emotional health of some seniors. Despite the resumption, strict rules still apply. The Agency for Integrated Care or AIC says only individual activities can resume with limited duration and number of people. For Lions Befrienders, five seniors will be able to visit for an hour each time, by appointment only. And staff will disinfect the space before another group enters. And while seniors cannot gather like before, centres are using this chance to help them get familiar with technology. Even when they're alone, they can play online games with volunteers. Care Corner, which operates seven centres, is taking an extra week to prepare before welcoming back the seniors. We have actually uh, selected seniors who fall into different categories and actually come back uh, to be able to come back to the centre first. Uh, they will actually be the ones who are actually living alone, uh, have little or no social support, uh, those with dementia, uh, and those with uh, some mental illness. So we will, we will actually encourage them to come back to us, uh, to the centre first. Already its regulars are excited. Both organizations say they are reaching out to seniors to ensure they are aware of the precautionary measures before they head down. NTUC Health, which operates 10 centers, is working with the Agency for Integrated Care to reopen in Phase 1.